Yuki. Yuki. Someone's calling my name. Who's it? It's a familiar voice. Of course I know. Yuki. It's me. Gramps? It's my great-grandfather. He died when I was five years old. What is he trying to tell me? Yuki. What? I can't hear you. dreaming about grass before and the dream felt so real oh no it's seven o'clock i gotta get ready for work i opened my jewelry box this morning sun glinting off my ring this ring is a memento of my, from my great grandfather maybe i'll wear it today i wonder how many years has it, has it been since i w last wore it Oof. There sure was a lot of visitors today. After closing time at the museum, I gazed at a display case. The 11th century solid gold tiara was just put on display today. It's really, it's a really beautiful tiara. <laughs> the alarm is buzzing. Did someone break in? But they beat up top security to get this is the tiara. I need to call to the, the police. I start to run when suddenly two guys dressed in black walking up here. Who, who are you? Oh, there's still someone working. Let's get out of here. H hey, wait, stop, you thieves. Just when I started to chase after them. Crash. Ow. I bumped right into a display case. Wobble, wobble. A huge brown statue falls towards me. Watch out! <laughs> One of the thieves grabs the statue and protects me. Ugh, this is heavy. What is it? A brown statue from the Madoka tribe. Magande uh, tribe of Africa. Magande tribe? The light is so bright I can't see the thieves' face. What's the Maganda tribe? Hey, now's not the time. She's the one who freed down and crashed into a display case. Well, I'm just glad you're not hurt. Uh, th thank you. I mean, give me back the painting. The other thieves pat me on the head. Sorry, we scared ya. Since you're being so polite, why don't you return to the painting? <laughs> Sorry, you can't do that. Hey. You. He grabs my wrist. Ow! Oh, what? Why do you have this ring? Ring? Please, car siren. It's the black foxes! They're the black foxes! The black foxes? That's a nice ring. See you later. What? Aren't the black foxes the right? Uh, are the ring of thieves who supposedly steal the for the greater good? They're all over the TV and internet lately. But I don't, I don't, I didn't think the black foxes were re really existed. I thought it was just an urban legend. I wonder if the thieves today really were part of the black foxes. Yuki, did you see their faces? The police asked me that too, but I couldn't see them clearly. Oh man. I have the scoop of the century if you've seen their faces, Yuki. Rango is a Ra Ranko is a is a newspaper report reporter. So she really would have had the scoop of the century. What did the thieves mean when he said see you later? Huh? Aww. You're all out of the pork noodles. We just sold the last one. Hmm? They had they had some when I ordered. Which means the pork noodles in front of me are the last one. Ugh, I came here just to eat those pork noodles, too. Does he really want the noodles that badly? I guess I'll give it to you. Um, you can have this one if you want. I don't want that. Huh? But 
Like, I want somebody else to have eaten food. It's not half eaten. I haven't even touched it. Turns away in a huff. Isn't he being kind of rude? I'm sorry. He's re he really has a foul mouth. Is this his friend? Hmm. What a cute smile. Hey, two girls and two guys. Why don't we eat together? Huh? Sounds good, right? He's peering at me from above. Sure! Right, go. Thanks. Come on, Takun. Sit down. Takun? Is that a nickname? The rude boy frowns as he sits down across from me. What's your name? Me? My name is Hiro. Hey, why were you guys talking about just now? I heard black foxes. We were just wondering if they were really exist. The ring of thieves like just like Robin Hood, right? They don't steal to profit. Instead, they return illegally pay attained works of art to their rightful owners. That's why I heard that's why I heard they steal. That'd be pretty cool if they were real, huh? Not really. I mean they're criminals who steal people's things. Are you dumb? Well I heard the museum got the painting that was stolen today from the Mafia in the black market field. Yes, I've heard that rumor. You're pretty stupid for someone who works in a museum. What's wrong with you? Call me stupid. Shut up. Stop yelling at everything. What's this? What's this deal? He's glaring at me and being so rude. They stare at each other in silence. Huh? Wait a minute. I didn't tell him I worked at a museum. How does he know? Takun, stop being so mean to her. But she's my soulmate. Huh? He reaches both hands in the soft with cups on over mine. H hey! Wow, this is a lovely frame. Frame? Does that seem like they know everything? I don't get it. Who are these guys? I'm exhausted. I've had so many strange people today. Oh, I see I could I I need to get to the mail. Some flyers, some bill, gas bill, coupons. My life is so boring. Hmm? What's this? It's a card in a white envelope. Inside it says, We're coming to get you tonight. The black foxes. The black foxes. What is this? I guess it's a popular prank nowadays. Probably boring. Stupid children. I guess I'll take a shower and go to bed. Russell, whisper, whisper. <laughs> mm, what's going on? What? What's the noise? <coughs> Slowly, someone comes behind me, presses his little hand against my mouth. Shh, I'm not gonna hurt ya. Just be quiet. I bite the person's finger as hard as I can. Ow! The man falls off my bed. Hey, I have teeth marks. You bit me way too hard. You're perfectly violent, huh? You're pretty violent, huh? H hey, who did that from the car? I can't believe you bit him. You're the girl or dog. That voice, one of the criminals from the museum. Wait, that voice, one of the crimi criminals from the museum? Be quiet. Anyway, we're not criminals, we're thieves. Aren't they the same thing? Anyways, why are you in my room? You told you they were coming to get you. What, that weird card? Oh, it's because I work at the museum, right? You want more of our exhibits? Wrong, we're after this. Hey, my ring. The nice guy from the bar probably holds up my ring. G give it back. It's a memento from my great grandfather. I propose a trade. A trade? If you want the ring back, you have to come with us quietly. Fine. <laughs> like I have no other choice. I, that ring is everything to me. Fine. Oh, how obedient. Good. No, I don't have to use this. What is in his hand? A gun? What's going to happen to me? The bar from last 
night. This is the place about the black boxes hide out. Hey, you're the real guy from before. Shut up, pork noodle girl. Pork noodle, what is kind of name is that? Leave her alone. Let's just explain everything to her. You shut up too, leader. Leader? Is the leader of the black foxes? Well, if it isn't Yuki. He finally meets me. And we finally meet after all this time. Who are you? I'm the boss of the black forest, I guess. Well, I'm boss, he doesn't seem too sure of himself. What do you want with me? Why did you bring me here? Your ring. My ring? You got it from your great grandfather, right? How did you know that? Forget about that. Just give us the ring. No talking. One is always supposed to be nice to a lady, remember? Your great grandfather was a great artist and inventor. That's what I've been told. But he died when I was five years old, so I don't know much about him. Hmm, so you don't know that amazing his creations are. Pretty cool for someone who's supposed to be his grandkid. I suppose you could say he was the Japanese Leonardo da Vinci. He... Was he really that important? But many of his valuable creations and inventions have fallen into the wrong hands. And we're stealing them back to recover them. Recover them? His creations and invention. We can't stand the bad guys profiting off from them. Okay, but, um, does what does that have to do with me? We have left behind one last masterpiece. And we need you to help us get it. Me? Yes, we've been looking for you for a long time. And thanks to the ring, we found you. So, you're after the ring? In that case, I would lend it to you for a while. Nope, that's not it. The leader grabs my wrist. What we want is your fingerprints. F fingerprints? Yes, so we need your fingerprints to find his creation. What's going on? So you're not after my ring? Dummy, the ring is just a symbol. We need your fingerprints. Don't go getting any ring of yours. Anyway, it's time to celebrate because you're about to become a fox, a uh, black fox. Huh? I don't understand what's going on. Quiet. He points a gun at me again. If you won't join us, we can't let you get away. But it's too dangerous now that you've seen our faces. Uh, are you threatening me? If you work with us to recover the artifact, you can return to life as normal. If I say no, will they kill me? He seems serious. I think I have to do it this way. In that dream this morning, Lady and Miss Grab wants me to find the artifact. You need my fingerprints. I get that. But I don't want to be a criminal. Not criminal thief. Regardless, I don't want to do anything illegal. We're not committing crimes. We're getting things right. Well, Yuki is just a regular girl. No wonder he, she gets scared when she hears the word thief. Don't worry, we won't make you steal anything. Just join us, okay? Not like we really expect much out of you anyway. So all I have to do is join you. Which is gonna be a pain in the ass. Why don't we cough? Cut? Hmm, alright. Then, who's going to be Yuki's babysitter? Babysitter? Yep, we need you. So, we don't want anything to happen to you. So, someone will be your partner, and stay by your side by to take care of you. Partner? All of us are pretty good guys, you know. But there is no telling we could happen if you try to get in the way. So, who's it gonna be? How should I know? You can't just suddenly throw this at me. And expect me to decide right away. That's it for today. Um, better just carefully if you're gonna be bugging. I'll take it back. Well, that's it for today. Bye!